Okay, so. Got this side wrapped and riveted. Not going to put any more rivets up top there until the uh, until the cap comes down and covers that, and then we'll rivet that all up. Then once I put the uh, panel across the back there, then we'll run the rest of these rivets here all the way up that seam. Did the same same thing here as we did. Uh, Previously, and just used a ratchet strap to pull it around and, uh, and then rivet it. So I'm going to go around onto the other side and uh, start on that one. It's a little bit tight to the door here, <laughs> but I can't move the bus, so just have to work with it. Anyways, it'll be fine. Said so I'm doing another video thing here. Okay, so we got this last piece pulled into place, the aluminum, it's just uh, strapped in there right now, start riveting here in a few minutes. That's the last of the difficult pieces, I think, <laughs> probably shouldn't have said that, anyways. We've got these straps, two straps, top and bottom, and then uh, just use them to form it around the around the curve. Seems to work pretty good. See clamped in place. Once I have some rivets in that, then we'll. Uh, pretty hard to see from here, but that uh, center panel there, we'll. Uh, Put a piece of aluminum on there as well. So that'll be next. Alright, so it's kind of hard to see with the door in there, but there's the last piece of the across the back of the bus here in, installed or just clamped in place right now. I'm just going to drill it here now. So I'll start drilling it and rooting it, and then uh, when the cap's ready to come down, pull it up into place and, and secure it. Get this drilled and sealed up, and riveted, and go from there. Okay, so working our way around to the driver's side here now. I've got the upper aluminum panel installed, as well as the lower stainless. We're up around the back here. And just installing the rear panel. And, uh, and then we'll drop the cap down. I'm gonna drop the cap down, pull it down into place, mark it, cut the uh, cut the bottom about two inches, something like that, off the bottom at the market, and then and then uh, pull it back out and uh, trim it, and then we can uh, put it down into place and and um, get that uh, all rivet it in and I picked up the next uh, batch of aluminum the piece that's on the top there is 5 by 10 that's for the roof or the uh, where we extended it and then the uh, material below that is all the uh, the sheared pieces for the uh, to do the, the driver's side so um, uh, virtually all the aluminum I need I need you know couple more pieces right up at the front by the uh, drivers and passengers um, windows there and uh, I also need uh, the aluminum to do the, uh, the slide out cages yet but um, we'll probably get that in a month or so maybe the end of the month I don't know we'll see see how far uh, how far how long it takes to get this all this on all right so the rear cap is all down and into its 
final position here. I have it all marked out. I just have to pop it all loose and uh, and uh, do some trimming on it. Just uh, when it's when they make them, they're not. You know, it's kind of a rough cut, so I got to make a nice cut along the back. For whatever reason, it's two and a half inches longer on one side than the other, so I got to uh, deal with that. And I'll just uh, pop it loose and, and cut the cut the fiberglass. Anyways, I'll go around the other side. And there's the other side. Really nice. Across the back here. No sealant or anything in there yet, of course, because I gotta trim it all off, but nice fit. And here's up inside. There's all the uh, ratchet straps and whatnot I used to persuade it to go into position just put two anchor bolts up in the two corners here where the, uh, the two marker lights will go one on each side one there one there and then uh, these ties or uh, ratchet straps from there to to uh, pull it into position so it's all good now got it marked the felt pin all along along the edge here so I just have to pop it free and uh, cut it all, all along that well not on that edge I can drop it down add two inches to that to uh, cap on the outside we'll go to the bottom of this this uh, uh, piece of material here and then it'll get riveted on the outside all along there anyways so we're right for now so More later. Alright, well here's the next step. Uh, caps pulled down into place, sealants in there. Just gonna start doing some riveting here. That green tape I got run along the bottom is just a reference so I knew how far to pull it down so it's even on both sides. We went to the marker light mount up at the top there down to that green tape on both sides hopefully they're at the same height because <laughs> otherwise the cop's going to be crooked but seems like it's uh, it's pretty close so anyway that's what we went with I'm going to start riveting alright so the cap is down riveted we got the uh, aluminum sheet up there closing the gap and I'm just in the process of riveting that down, so I'll uh, go up there in a second and uh, show you what that looks like. And here we up on the roof. I'm just starting to do rivet layout there. We got some of the rivets across the back here. Got two rows of rivets to do there. Two rows of rivets across here, side to side. And then a road down here, another row down this side, and another row down that side. So now it's all said and down, I believe there's about 500 rivets on this one panel. I don't think it's coming off. Alright, so I'm a little bit farther along on the roof here. Got the, all the rivets down the center. About halfway out on either side. And I'm going around the curve. I think I'm going to go down and release these straps here now and uh, do the rest from down below on the scaffolding because uh, I don't want to trap a, uh, a high spot anywhere in here I gotta 
kind of work all three of them down at the same time. And uh, if I go too far, I'm going to end up trapping material in the, you know, in between the two, uh, uh, all between the three rivet rows. So, anyways, enough for now. The other thing it's doing with it uh, strapped down like this is rather than allowing that material to to uh, just move, you know, the excess material to move down, it's trapping it up this way, and so I'm getting a bit of a, a uh, divot right in here, as you can see. So when I release that tension, that should allow that material to, to uh, move toward the outside, and then that should disappear. I'm hoping, so I don't want to go too much farther like this. I think I'm going to just go down and get rid of the straps, and... Uh, and uh, work the rest of the rivets down from there, from the top down. That's all finished there now, as far as I can go. Now I have to start working from the outside. So I'm going to do this side from the top of the slide out, put a piece of plywood on there, and then I'll work from, from there over on there. And the other side, I'm going to have to work off a ladder, I guess, because uh, our scaffolding's a little too low. So. Anyways, three of 500 rivets in so far. All right, so this side is pretty much done. I have to go on, all the rivets are on the uh, panel, the roof panel. It's all secured there, cap. It's all riveted down. These straps I'm going to leave on there for now because they have to. Uh, I'm going to when I suck the other side down, same as this. I need the straps, so I'm just going across the gap. I have all the rivets to dress yet, but uh, other than that, this side's all done. Around the back, I have more rivets to put on across the back of the cap, but um, it's just too tight in there. I'm just going to leave that until. I can move the bus forward and uh, and then I'll do that and the back door so just isn't enough room to be working in there so we move around to the other side we'll call uh, call this it for this video and then I'll uh, start another one when we uh, I'm gonna go around the other side start working on that side and I'll just start another video for that one so anyways that's it for now.